One of the things that I love about being in drag is that I feel like I'm wearing my own suit of armor. When I put this on, I feel like I am unstoppable. The reason I decided to run in drag is because I knew that I would have a more powerful voice running in drag. I feel like people can't say anything to me because I'm already going against traditional ideas of what gender is supposed to be and how it's supposed to be expressed. When we think about politicians, what do we think about? We think about old white guys in suits. And you know what? I think it's about time that that is the end of that um, idea of what a politician is like. Everybody can and should be a politician because politicians, again, are your representatives. And how can somebody that is so out of touch with who you are and how your life is actually be a true representative? And when I started doing drag, I realized that for me, it was a lot more than a costume. It just felt like I was able to be more of myself. The one thing that I was not, you know, prepared to realize was that it really helped me discover that I'm a trans person, that I'm a gender fluid person. A lot of people have the misconception that you are either cisgendered or transgender. And the reality is that there's a lot of gray area in between that. I've actually always had an interest in running for office. After doing drag for a few years and realizing how strong this community is and how strong the LGBTQIA community is, I felt like they would really have my back. It was definitely terrifying, but I will say that it's actually been one of the most enlightening and positive experiences of my life. And that was so touching to me on a personal level, but also as an LGBTQIA person to know that, hey, I have the support of the people in my community to represent my community. I am running up against a, an establishment Democrat, and you know, I will say that I don't have any major complaints about the, uh, you know, the current congressman. Somebody that is a minority, somebody that is trans and queer, you know, I have an understanding of what it's like to be oppressed. What I want to do is really engage with my local community, engage with all of the different types of minorities that are in my community. We have people of every ethnic background, of every color, of every different kind of gender identity and sexuality, and I want to be out there on the front lines with them, figuring out how we can make this a better place for all of us. I thought, I'm too tall to be a drag queen, but you know what? When you're the tallest woman in the room, everyone is paying attention to you.